Okay, so we have a graph and we have to find the critical numbers. So critical numbers are numbers in the domain of the function where the derivative is zero or undefined. So looking at this graph, we know that the derivative should be zero at three because here at three, if you were to draw a tangent line, it would be horizontal and the slope of a horizontal line is zero and the derivative is the slope. So the derivative is zero here at three and also at nine, it's also zero because your tangent line is horizontal. So you have critical numbers at three and nine. And here at six, it's undefined because you have like a cusp or a sharp edge. You can't have a jagged edge that makes it undefined. So three, six, and nine are our critical numbers. So slope of zero, undefined, slope of zero, or derivative zero, derivative undefined, derivative zero. So three, six, nine. Relative maxima are y values that are bigger than the points around them. So at x equals three, we have a y value of looks like nine, which is bigger than the points around it. So three is a place, is a critical number where we have a relative maxima. Also nine, same situation. We have a y value that is bigger relative to the points around it. Hence the name relative uh, maxima. So three comma nine will give us the relative maxima. Uh, sometimes they're called local maxima as well. Relative minima is a y value that is smaller than the points around it. So six at six, uh, we have a relative minimum of zero and it is smaller than the points around it. So x equals six is the critical number where it occurs. Absolute maxima, uh, we actually have two. We have a tie uh, at three and at nine. Uh, we have an absolutely biggest y value, right? Nine is the biggest y value uh, on the graph of this entire function. So there is no y value bigger than nine and it actually occurs twice. So we have a, an example where we have two absolute maxima. It's kind of interesting. Absolute minima, it looks like uh, it's going to be zero and that occurs at six. So uh, see zero here is the smallest y value here. We have holes here, so you don't count these. So the smallest y value on this graph is zero and it occurs at six. Let's just go through one more time and check everything. So the critical numbers were three, six, and nine. So here the derivative is zero, so that gives us three. The derivative is zero, gives us nine, and here the derivative is undefined, so that's also a critical number. Relative maxima, boom, right here and right here. So that's gonna be at three and nine. Uh, relative minima, six. Absolute maxima, they're gonna be the same, right? Because they're absolutely the biggest ones. And then absolute minima, it's gonna be the same because it's absolutely, absolutely the smallest one. Just for extra knowledge, uh, relative uh, maxima and minima are also called local maxima and minima. And absolute maxima and minima are actually called, are also called global maxima and minima. Extra terminology. I hope this video has been helpful. This is a really uh, interesting example because you have all kinds of stuff uh, happening. That's it.